2021. Well, yeah, still same old crap, but maybe it might end. Welcome to the New Year's edition 2021 of Watch Me Suck It Bowling. Well, we weren't planning on coming from Mason's, but we are. In actuality, I called Riverwalk. I wanted to do it there, but they didn't answer their phone, so they didn't get the show. Could have been busy, who knows? Or they might not be open because the pandemic is getting kind of bad. So I'm trying to you know, stack the episodes. And we're stacking so that if the state decides to shut things down as we listen to people's music over here, well, we'll be covered. So anyway, we were gonna go to Harvard, but they're closed permanently. I went in and the uh, place was up for sale and shut down. So here we are Masons again. And speaking of Masons, let's go and, uh, well, let's just go inside. We'll do all that crap indoors, the usual stuff. We are bowling on lane number 20. This side of the place, especially in the 20s, is known to be the ball muncher. Meaning we start with our four Epco urethane balls. There they are. We typically end with three or even two. Half, while the pandemic had everything shut down the first time, they cleaned and fixed things up, so who knows, they might all come back. And before we get to everything, we have not mentioned yet the highs and lows as of now. In the land of the candle pins, high single of 142, done at New Palace Lanes in Fitchburg, low of 44. Needless to say, well, that was done. Although things have been fixed up quite a bit here, so easier now. And a land of the ducks, 147 Collins Bola Drone. And at West Chelmsford, the low of 58. I think it was 58 or 56. I'm, it's slipping. I think it's 56. Well, either way. Very short approaches. Pin cam was in the way. Moved it. Everything was fine ever since. And then 10 pin. 161. That is it. Hard to believe a 19 point difference between the hardest 10 pin game and the easiest. And the low? Yes, 26, that's a real number trying to do Jason Belmonte, and it failed. And those are the highs and lows of now. Watch Me Suck at Bowling is a proud sponsor of the hit TV candle pin show, King of the Palace. Watch talented professional and league bowlers show their stuff instead of watching this crap. To watch episodes of King of the Palace, simply go to YouTube and search for King of the Palace. If you want to subscribe to the show, go to youtube.com slash newpalacelanes. Once again, here are the Epco urethane balls. The only thing professional you're about to see in this game. And speaking of, it's now time for those famous words you've been waiting for. And a new year that hopefully things get better from here, all around. It's it's too quiet in here, so we're going to be quiet about it. It's now time to watch me suck at bowling. Game one, frame one, ball one. If it looks weird presenting the ball, I'm on a pedestal nine inches high. I got the camera a little better, but there's no way to get it good, really. Ball two. Ball three. Well, we start with a lovely seven that might have been slightly locked. We let minor locks live because a little dirty secret. Even competitions I've been to. If it's slightly over, they kind of let it live anyway. Anyway, for those of you who like the pin setters, here's the Bowmore match. And 
And there you go. Frame two by one. <laughs> Ball two, gotta watch them laps. It was okay though. Ball three, that was a lot. Oh I'm wondering if they actually went this far with the maintenance. That's another seven. So far, like I've said, five years and absolutely nothing to show for it. We got ourselves a pair of sevens. They're at 14. Not so good. Frame three, ball one. Ball three. We need better, but we're getting there. That's an eight. Frame four ball. Two. I don't think they really did anything on this side. Well, far side. Ball three. Ten. Well, those two frames are better. You got an eight and three. Ten and four. Someone's looking at the CD player, so that means we might have to mute audio for a bit. Thirty-two. Frame five, ball one. Frame six, ball one, two Ostinkos. Someone had to put money in the jukebox, didn't they? This lasts into next week as well. Ball two. It may sound indistinguishable, but I've been hit with indistinguishables. The bonus fill is an eight. That's not rolling fast enough. Ball three. Can we pick up the final two pins to get ourselves a ten for the frame? The answer is yes, for the 10. Now that's marked improvement, no pun intended. We got the strike in 5, and we got a 10 in 6, the first two balls of that, knocking down 8 for the fill. 60. Frame 7, ball 1. Have we woken up, or have we got lucky? Ball two, this is the Masons we know and don't really like. I do know that at least lanes 5 through 18 are pretty good now. Ball three. Looks like we are stuck with the Starlight 5. Let's see if it can go. Looks like the answer is no, with a weak 6. From it, Beaumont. The game is going decently enough that we could get away with a week six right there. Ball two. Well, isn't that an ugly mess? Between the seven and eight is the best way to go. Ball three. What really sucks is, that's exactly where I aimed the ball. 
Got one of the two skinny ones for an eight. There was a little bit of a falter in those two frames. We got a weak six and seven, and then a decent eight and eight. We got a 74, which is not all that bad. Frame nine ball one. We need just six points in these two frames to make just a decent game. That definitely helps. El Strico. Last frame ball one to El Strico's. What will they add up to? If it's a pretty good number, it's going to be a pretty good game. Ball two. El Stinko 1 lived up to its name. Will El Stinko 2 be redemption? El Stinko 2 wasn't much better, but a 7 fill is alright. All 3. 7 isn't bad for a fill, but higher is pretty much recommended typically. Swing and a miss. The fill is all we're getting, which is 7. It ends pretty well. We got a strike in 9, and then a 7 in 10, and that's all we got, which is the fill for the strike, but the score of 98, not too bad. That concludes the first week of 2021, and the first week of January's edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling from Mason's Bowling Center in Lemonster, Massachusetts. This is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed, and have a good one.